Hi, so in this video I'm going to do a demo on transactional web services across continents, uh, namely to Tokyo, to uh, the United States East Coast, and then to the United States West Coast. So here's the Tokyo one, and you'll see um, I have these web servers on, or the uh, database servers on Amazon Web Services, and uh, they're very moderate, uh, actually very weak uh, VMs uh, with uh, two virtual CPUs and then just f roughly four gigs of RAM uh, so they're not very powerful to begin with uh, so let me demo this I I created a publisher of one table that is uh, 800,000 uh, records and um, I have two push uh, subscribers subscriptions that I'm pushing from basically the west coast which is in the middle to uh, Tokyo um, and then to the east coast so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna add 10,000 records to this publication so I'm gonna hit F5 and add 10,000 records and I have uh, the three linked servers so I'm just gonna refresh here and you'll see the rows that it's actually copied so far so remember I have 10,000 records so the first one here is just the source database so 10,000 records have already been copied here 3,000 and then the next one's 2,000 so I roughly talked okay I roughly talked about 8 seconds and it was able to replicate 10,000 rows uh, so let me try a hundred thousand rows now so I'm gonna hit F5 and um, let me refresh the query here so the the first one here is actually um, the source database this one here is actually the Tokyo one and then the other ones in the East Coast so you notice in my first refresh it actually didn't push across any rows probably because it's packing up the uh, changes so you'll, you'll notice um, here in my replication data uh, share it has the changes but let me refresh here and you'll see it copied 2000 rows and 3000 rows so Tokyo is a little bit slower and also let me show you the speed so uh, th this is the da this is uh, speedtest.net and this Amazon uh, AWS server is actually on the west coast and it's pinging a San Francisco server and it's basically two, 210 megabits uh, both upload and download uh, to a local server uh, let me check on this So it's basically halfway done uh, in about 30 seconds. And remember, this is a very slow server, and it actually is going across the internet virtues, actually across any type of private WAN. So um, so you'll see the one in the bottom is already at 86,000. Okay, 93,000, whereas this one in Tokyo is just two thirds of the way done. And you'll see why I'll show you the network speed. Okay, so now the one on the East Coast is done, and the one in Tokyo is still being worked on. So when you do it in bulk, in, in such a slow environment, it does take some time. But I, I just wanted to demonstrate the concept of actually doing it across continents. Be, because you might have a uh, bunch of read-only databases. Um, you know, your, your website might get to the point where it's big enough and it's used worldwide where you might want a couple of read databases scattered across continents. So um, let me hit refresh one last time. 
and it's almost done just 4,000 more rows for the Tokyo one and it's done so it, it's actually pretty fast uh, in the thousands range um, so let, let me show you the speed test here so uh, relatively it's kinda slow I'm, I'm, I'm on the East Coast server here on the AWS Amazon Web Services and um, I'm pinging the West Coast and it actually is just 8 megabits and 17 megabits upload whereas if you remember West Coast to West Coast was 250 uh, megabits and 260 megabits upload and the one in Tokyo is even slower so you'll see it's um, actually 6 megabits and 12 megabits and this is all to the uh, San Francisco, California, which is where I have my master, uh, ba basically my publication server, or my distrib distribution server, uh, that has the publication. So it's uh, being pushed out from the west coast, which I estimate is probably in San Francisco somewhere, which is why I put it there, but uh, maybe it's not, maybe it's probably in Utah or some, some place that doesn't have earthquakes. Um, so and um, what if I test this locally all of these are very fast in terms of uh, network speed so if I go to the East Coast one here and you'll notice the ID here on uh, Amazon is uh, is uh, pretty much on the East Coast so let me try to target something in New Jersey here and then you could see how fast this that is while that's being set up let me show you this server pinging Japan itself just so you could get a feel of how fast the local speed is versus actually going across the country so a, a lot of this is really about network speed so for Tokyo I have to drag it all the way here and let me try to find um, try to find Tokyo I think this is Taiwan alright maybe it's this yeah there it is Tokyo so, so uh, while that's going on let's check on the East Coast and uh, actually it wasn't as impressive as I thought uh, going to New Jersey it's still just 56 megabits and 17 megabits upload so the East Coast servers are kinda slow whereas the West Coast servers here it's actually an amazing speed well relatively speaking and same with Japan itself uh, which has uh, roughly a hundred megabits so um, you know there you go uh, actually let me do one quick update here so if if I just update one or two rows you know how quickly does that replicate so let me just set it set this up here and show you in each individual and again this is transactional replication which means there's one master and the subscribers get basically a read-only copy okay so this is let me double check on this one okay it's come up okay so this is um, my master database here so I'm going to edit two rows. I'm going to edit Terry and I'm going to edit this to be Ken and they're both committed and I'm going to refresh this on the East Coast and you'll see it's been refreshed already and I'm going to go to Tokyo and it's been refreshed already. So if it's one or two rows or if it's very discreet unlike what I'm doing in bulk before it's actually pretty fast uh, probably did it in less than a second uh, so but you know just to give you a feel of uh, you know if you ever want to implement 
your website basically worldwide um, and having to serve millions of users uh, you know doing a read-only copy uh, you know this is a general feel of how it would it would be like on uh, Amazon Web Services okay um, that's really it uh, thank you for watching